I think running is a great thing. It's one of those exercises that is totally free. As long as you've got a pair of shoes, you know, you can go to Mountain Warehouse and pick up a really affordable pair of shoes. I think it's a great way just to start to get a little bit fit, you know, going out every day, making small goals, and it's really easy to see progression. In your first run, you may feel like you're really slow, but by the fifth run, you would have shaved off a couple of seconds, like, yes, I'm making progress. I think that's the best way to get into something, just being able to see visual progress. So the reason why I started running was I broke up with my ex-girlfriend who I'd been dating for five years or so. I was a little bit heartbroken by it and I was at film school at the time and one of my teachers noticed that I was pretty down all of a sudden and he was like, I used to be a professional runner this evening, just go out for a run, I don't care what else you're doing today, just go out for a run and I know you'll enjoy it. So that evening I went back and I was like, okay, let's do this run then. And I went out and from that moment forward, I was hooked on it. It was kind of a really good way just to release myself and kind of get away from everything. So I went out to go and buy a load of running stuff. I just went to the Mountain Warehouse store and just picked up a load of running gear. It got me pumped and excited to run, like knowing that I had bought all these things. So running wanted me to do it more and more and more. I'm wearing the Mountain Warehouse ISO Grip bare feet running shoes. They're kind of like really light. So if you're kind of running on a road or something there, they feel very flexible and you're kind of closer with the road. Uh, I've got the grey like running leggings just to keep your legs warm when it's nice and cold outside. Uh, I then got just got the normal running shorts that I kind of use together. Um, I then got the Raptor running jacket just for if it's raining or if it's a little bit cold, a nice little bit extra protection. And then on the back, I've got the Hydro Pack for long runs, kind of half marathon, marathon kind of thing. It's nice to have a nice bit of water supply or to keep keys and other bits and bobs or even a phone just in your backpack just so when you're out doing long runs you can store little bits of stuff that you might need. I remember when I first started running, I was kind of a bit self-conscious about how fast I was and kind of how good I was at running. I started off running like a 10 minute mile and it felt really slow because I'd seen that like a seven minute mile was the happy medium. I eventually worked up to it, but I remember I was looking at other people who were slower than me and kind of going, oh, come on, why, why are they so slow? One day I went out for a really long run, over a half a marathon, I think. And when I first started, I saw this quite slow person in front of me. So I caught up to them and overtook them. and I felt pretty good about myself. But then a couple of hours later, when I had eventually looped back around, I still saw them running. And I was like, wow, so the person who I had thought was pretty slow had actually been carrying on for a lot longer. So they may have been running for a, a huge duration before me. When you see somebody running, I didn't know at what point they were in their run. So although it feels good when I run and overtake someone, they may have been doing a 50 mile run or something. So it kind of really made me realize that actually anybody at any stage can run. It doesn't matter where you are, it's all about your goals for yourself and not kind of comparing to other people. And it was at that point that I didn't really care about the competitive side or how I felt or looked in front of other people. I was like, I'm just doing this for me. Usually before a run, I kind of make a smoothie or have some cereal with some oats. This is usually just to get some energy ready for me when I'm running, kind of like some slow release energy. Okay, so I'm about to make a post run smoothie. It's quite simple. It's a recipe that I found that came with my blender. Um, it consists of some curly kale, some blueberries, some coconut water, and then two bananas. So it's, it's kind of got everything you need for a good bit of recovery, protein, vitamins, all that kind of stuff and I use coconut water instead of water because it's, it's just got a lot more um, goodness <laughs> than the normal water just to really help you recover from how long you end up running for. I have a friend who is a professional athlete and he went vegan. The health benefits that he mentioned, because obviously he's a professional athlete, you know, he's got to be peak performance all the time. And 
what he said to me kind of was like, oh yeah, this, uh, you know, being so into my running, I wanted to progress and get better. And all these benefits of, you know, feeling faster and just being more energized throughout the day. My running improved massively in the first few months that I started going vegan. I felt a lot more healthier, I slept better. Um, and yeah, I just keep finding out fun things about it every day. And because it's quite new, I wasn't a very good chef before. I've kind of been forced into becoming better at cooking because there's no vegan ready meals. I have to make everything myself. Running feels really good when you when you finish, all the endorphins getting released, you know. It's always quite difficult starting a run when it's a cold, freezing day, and like I don't want to go outside. But actually, when you get back, it just feels so amazing. So it's just a good way to kind of free yourself, really. Oh, my guilty pleasure running tune. Either Katy Perry or Taylor Swift 22. I always start off with those ones because they get me pretty pumped. <laughs> <laughs> 